So this is where 1974 and I am bringing you part 3 of Tracia and also I also bring you the last half of the desert part of the world that you're on right now. So what we're going to have to do is um, we're going to have to go after the betrayer. Or at least what we think is the trailer. And we have to do is basically go around north or around northwest from the town where we're in. And we have to go through a little maze to get to the culprits. Right now we have gotten over with, we can now go to the cave and grab the corporates. And while in the cave, I will fast forward just to save time save some time and here we go.
Alrighty then, so now we're at the parch. And we have to um, fight these guys. And, uh, they look mean, but they, because of the equipment I've got right now, they shouldn't even touch me. All this in Chapter 2 at the moment is basically um, be going back and forth a lot, especially when um, what's coming up at the moment after this cave. Can't really see nothing much about this battle since they can't touch me. They do have a lot of hit points, I'm afraid, and it doesn't matter what level you have. And it will take some little bit more time than the other enemies we've been facing in the past. Okay, now we have advanced the plot. All we have to do is get out of the cave. Now, I don't have anything with me that allows me to port out of the cave, which would have helped greatly. Let's skip ahead and get out of the cave. Now we're out of the cave, now we're saying something fishy. And for some reason, we got gotten asleep. And we pair us on a vice cell, so joy. And saying he found us. And brought us in. And a few other stuff. All is for is just advancing the plot of the game. Or at least part of the story. Check and see if the prince or the king has anything new to say this time around. Ah, the hmm, rebels, eh? Now they don't believe me. That's just great. At this point, what I'm supposed to do is, I'm supposed to find this remarkable swordsman who lives, I believe, around the top right hand corner of the map. And the only way to get there is to go through a very small opening. Which I'm about to show. And that's the town, the other town. Which I don't really need to go at the moment. So what's going to happen is once I talk to the swordsman, the only way to stop the war is by talking to the prince and princess of each of the kingdoms, or basically kidnap them, and once they do that, they are supposed to stop the war and we'll find out who the real culprits are. This is the part where I don't generally like it's mostly about talking back and forth and there's no fast way around it because you don't got anything to repel the enemies on the map and it's quite a long walk it usually takes about I uh, knowing five to ten minutes to believe of course battling these enemies is simple at this point so I'm not powerful with the six I got now equipped and it's easy level up
So what I'm at right now is where he is. Or maybe not. Where the hell is that little... Yeah, I think it went too far up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go directly to the swordsman. And we'll see how that goes. So, so this is where I am right now, um, the entrance to where the swordsman is. There's really not much in here, just a little hideout for him, apparently. And that's, I believe that's where he is. For some reason, this plot sounds vaguely familiar with some other video game, but I can't remember. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video, and we'll talk to the prince and princesses. Or prince and prince. I don't care. We'll just advance the video. Oh, you will go. You have no choice but to go. Hmm, okay, so you won't be she won't be my party, but she will follow me discreetly. So that's one down, and we have to get the other person from the other kingdom to follow us. So here I am at the other kingdom. And of course I went the wrong way. Lovely. Ah, for the sake of the kingdoms to live in harmony. Harmony. Yes, I'd like to kidnap you. You're very polite. Okay, so he'll go quietly. Now we got the two hindsights. We can go back to the swordsman. And they arrive fine. Apparently they didn't fight any monsters. And we had to fight monsters but I'm back here. The swordsman's not there. Uh, actually, it could, it could be him right there, as far as I know, because everybody looks alike in this game. Ah, uh, that's really uh, gaming for you. Hmm. So they were in a fight. Well, the warm feeling is not coming from your tush, princess. This soft, warm, wet feeling. <laughs> well, that's love. And right now, he's basically explaining to the princess what love is. Love is something that you see the scenes over and over again. And it seemed they fell in love. Well, that's hunky dory for you. That crap, I have to see this stuff again. Let's just move on.
But even before we advance the plot, it looks like we're gonna have to do some rest. Yeah, it's nice free rest. To pay like hundreds of gold. So if you're ever stuck in this game, you can go to the subscreen and click on the question mark, and it basically will tell you where to go next. Useful tool. So here I am. Once you get Elden Gold towards the um, left hand side of the screen there, you'll be facing this little army. Yeah, quite an army indeed. How come I didn't see this army was in the towns before? No, no more. So basically, two fell in love with each other. And what happens now is that the kings, well, well, they're in love, but well, let them have their marriage. Everything is fine and dandy. Now, before the chapter is over, I'm gonna have a quick talk. And we'll get to the last part. story. Oh my gosh, it was set up. A shock. A shock. Or we will handle this. It will cost you a dime. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to fast forward here and we'll get to the boss.
Okay, so now we're at the boss right now. I'm just gonna keep fast following it because this is one of those bosses that is not necessarily to comment on. Like these are a little bit different enemies that you fought before, but they're still pushovers who are well equipped. They don't heal or anything, they're just there to whack you with their sticks. Coffee, you have to chase after him. Okay, we don't need the items here. The Ripper Sword is definitely an upgrade um, for you. And it'll be useful this coming battle. Then it may just make the battle look go on quicker. I'm just making room here because I'm running out of room. I've got so many sticks equipped. But once you get to the other chapter, chapter 3, the Ripper Sword will be obsolete compared to the equipment you can equip. And we'll just let this battle go. And here's the main boss, we call it a boss. Again, it's not that difficult. He just has a lot of hit points. He, he just doesn't hit that much, I'm afraid, or didn't hit anything at all. One of those longer battles, but fairly very easy to do. And we'll have to let it play out.
Okay, so this is where the chapter is about to end, and we'll head to chapter 3. Now, chapter 3 is actually, I almost say, difficult, but definitely more challenging than chapter 2, or at least for the first part, anyway. Basically, the entire plot is actually in towns. And I'll see you in chapter 3.